<laughs> so these are the outside mounted blinds. Um, a lot of folks have these on their patio uh, or sliding glass door. Uh, and these blinds outside, meaning that that head rail there is mounted outside of the window opening. So we're gonna see how that Okay, works. so uh, what you wanna do is basically first thing you want to do is take and loosen up that center screw, right? Loosen it up a little bit and you're gonna place this on your blind, head rail, squeeze there, and we're gonna tighten it down, okay? Um, and that's basically it. So I wanna show you how this looks from the top angle here. Um, basically, it just mounts right on top of that head rail and you squeeze here, of course, and you tighten up that screw and it just snugs right over that head rail. So then now you can hang your rod and curtain. Very simple and easy. Now we're ready to hang our curtain rod and curtains up. We already put the curtains on the curtain rod. Now this is a one inch curtain rod and that's what uh, the brackets hold up to a one inch curtain rod. So we recommend nothing larger than one inch. It's not gonna fit in the rod holder. Um, the other thing is recommend grommet style curtains. That's what I have here. These are gray velvet uh, uh, blackout curtains uh, or close to really thick curtains. Uh, I'll put the link for these in the details as well. And we're just basically going to hang our rod, okay? Now, the reason we say use grommet curtains is you can actually hide the bracket behind one of the pleats. So we're gonna take this out and we can actually hide the bracket right behind the head rail, okay? Uh, so that works out pretty well. It looks very nice. So let's take a look at the full picture of what this looks like. Okay guys, so the curtains are up, uh, the brackets are up, the rod, uh, is holding up really nicely and uh, these look really good so and you can't even tell really that there's uh blinds back there in the back uh, behind this setup uh, the grommet curtains work perfectly in hiding the uh, the blind head rail as well as uh, the actual brackets and the blind so it came out really really nice i love it Okay, so this is the inside mounted bracket. And this is for the in standard uh, head rail. Um, and what you wanna do is you wanna measure the distance from top to bottom, okay? And that's gonna determine which brackets you need. For this particular head rail, we're gonna use the regular standard inside mounted uh, brackets. And so you simply, it does come with some 3M strips that you can place on the bottom or the top. Uh, in this particular case, it fits really tight and really good. Uh, and that's all you're gonna do. Just slide it right in, tighten down that top screw. You can place your rod and your curtains up. You're good. To now we're here at the extra large version is what we're gonna talk about now. So how I know it's um, uh, the size that's needed. Again, you're gonna measure this distance here, okay? Uh, in this case, it's one and a half, um, almost one and three quarters, right, in between. Uh, if it's over one and a half, but less than 1.75, then you need the extra large version, okay? Uh, so this is gonna take the extra large version. Um, we are going to use, we're gonna put these sticky strips on here, okay? That came with it, because I want it extra tight. And remember, that's the only time you're gonna use this, is if it's a little loose, if you feel like you need one or two, then you can add both of them, okay? So we're gonna add this to the bottom here of the bracket, just like so. And then you're simply gonna slide that in, okay? Let's loosen up the top screw a tad bit. Okay, and you're gonna slide that in. All right, so sometimes you only need one of those strips. Uh, sometimes it, it may be a little difficult to screw it in with two strips, uh, but you can use one or two and that's it. That's not going anywhere. Now you add another one to the other end 
depending on how big the window is, you may need three, you may need one in the middle to prevent it from sagging. So that's extra large version. Put your rod, your curtain on, and you're good to go. All right. Now we're at the mini blinds, okay? These are standard one inch mini blinds. Uh, they measure one inch from top to bottom, okay? And so we're gonna use the mini blind version of the brackets, okay? Now one thing with blinds, it, whether it's inside or outside, there's typically, or sometimes there's a valence, a plastic valence that's on the front of the blind uh, head rail. So those you wanna take off, right? I didn't have any in the demo, but those you can just clip right off because the bracket has to attach to the actual head rail. In these cases, uh, in this case, there's no um, uh, blind head uh, valence on these particular blinds, okay? So same thing, slips right on. I used one uh, double-sided sticky strip on this one, and you're basically going to slide that in like so, and then we're gonna tighten it down, the top screw. All right, tighten it down nicely. And again, you always wanna make sure that the existing blinds are mounted securely, they're not loose, they're not damaged or anything like that. Okay, so as you can see, this is mounted, it's ready to go, it's ready for curtain, a rod, and your decorating is done. Uh, very simple and easy, no holes in the walls. That's what you wanna to get to. 